A computer network is a group of computers linked to each other. This enables the computer to communicate with another computers and share their resources, data and applications. Each computer on a network is called node. A node can be a client system, a server, a printer or an IP phone. A computer network can be categorized by their size. Few main types of networks include local area network or LAN which describes a network that covers an entire building be it a residential or a business property. Sometimes it is just referred to as local network. The second type of network is metropolitan area network or MAN which spans an entire geographical area typically a town or a city. MANs are usually used to link two office buildings in a city or connecting two buildings in a large education campus. Next type of network is Wide Area Network or WAN. WAN is a huge network that connects any two systems in the world. Internet is a WAN. Next we have Controller Area Network or CAN which is a low level network that provides connection between simple industrial devices like sensors, motors and valves and higher level devices like PLC controllers and computers. The network that connects a car dashboard and various sensors like fuel capacity, tire pressure, engine temperature etc can be considered as a controller area network. Next we have personal area network or PAN. PAN is a very basic setup made up of a wireless modem, a computer or two, phones, printer, tablets, etc. and revolves around one person in one building. When you connect your mobile phone to a computer or a headphone via Bluetooth, it is a personal area network. In order to enable this kind of connectivity, we need various type of network devices. Network devices are electronic equipment that facilitate connection between various nodes. In this diagram, the devices in the red circle are network devices. The green ones are the nodes. Few of the commonly used networking devices include Hub, which is a basic network device that connects two or more computers. It sends data to all the nodes. This is called as broadcast. Because it broadcasts the data to every computer instead of sending it to an exact destination, usually hub is termed as a dumb device. Next we have switch, which is a network device that connects two or more computers just like a hub. However, switches can read the hardware address in a frame and transmit data to an appropriate destination. That's why switch are considered intelligent devices and improve network efficiency. Bridge. A bridge connects multiple network segments. It maintains a table of MAC addresses for all the devices connected to one interface. Frames transmitted from source to destination are locally broadcasted within the segment. Next we have router. A router forwards data packets between computer networks. It helps in transmitting packets to the destination by identifying a shortest path. A router maintains a routing table and makes use of routing protocols to make the routing decision. Next we have the gateway. A gateway connects two or more networks. In recent days it is more of a module in a network rather than a hardware. Every network will have a gateway. This is typically the interface on a router. Next we have access points. An access point is a device that creates a wireless local area network or WLAN usually in an office or large building. An access point connects to a wired router switch or a hub via an ethernet cable and projects Wi-Fi signal to a designated area.